Wait for you to get up here. But I really don't want to deal with having you as a... No! Why? Why? At the end... Hello guys, welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. We're gonna go on a hacking spree right now and hack every single thing we can. And hopefully get some secrets. this lead over here then it's over there then we do this then we do this I don't even know if this is how it's supposed to be uh, okay there we go I can only guess Mama's is gone, it will take care of us now. Uh, that isn't 1587. Uncle John, everyone calls him Dr. D. Divine Science. I'm not gonna read, I'll only listen to the audio files and the, the other stuff. I'm, I'm not gonna read. It's, it's too much. It's gonna take too long if I have to read everything. Right, uh, there we go up again. A nudge. Okay, that is weird. Where am I supposed to go then if not? Oh, okay, that worked. Call breached. Yes, give me. Unlock the records of our past. Wait, how old is this? Animus Industries, Epistogo Industries, Animus 1.0. So that's the Animus 1.0, huh? That's the one Desmond used in the uh, the first game. Hello, PC. I'm gonna get very intimate now, okay, PC? Yes, yes. Oh no, not this one. Time to go through my nightmare yet again. Whoops. Whoops. That's not... It's not fast enough. Has a little pause before it can uh, do this. So, no, so close. Why you do this to me, game? Oh, I didn't realize that went down. I thought it was going up. It's my bed. This is the worst hacking game they've ever made in games. I have tried so many games that has hacking. But this is by far the worst hacking I've ever seen. You could argue it just because I'm bad at the game, but I mean that argument doesn't really stand when it's like this. Ah. <sighs> oh, God damn it! I forget that always goes down, not up. Come on.
We gotta get on up here. No, I could have done it there. No. I pressed right. But of course it did not acknowledge that in the game. I mean, what did I expect? Alright, uh, come with it. Come over here. Why is this circle so big? <sighs> All right, almost there. There we go, and then ah, oh, there. Thank goodness. We need to get up here. I really don't want to deal with having U.S. Air. No. Why? Why? At the end. Oh, that feels like taking a punch to the gut. It's how painful this feels. I don't think any game has made me this angry before. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I, I feel so much pain and suffering and anger right now just from this hacking system. There, if they were planning to annoy the player, they definitely succeeded big time. Oh, that was so freaking close to dying again then. The other hacking games are okay. Like, they're not as annoying, but this one is... It just hits that one spot that I uh, that, that, that's Our initial annoying. reports gave us hope that Enzio Auditori would serve as an ideal candidate for future Abstergo projects. His charisma, sexual magnetism, and wry humor gave him all the qualities of a leading man. However, his corruption by the Assassin Order robbed him of these qualities as he fell deeper and deeper into a spiral of revenge. Enzio what do you was mean? frequently known to articulate a passive acceptance of evil. He was also a man of ugly contradictions, one who preached free thought, yet traveled well beyond his home country to proselytize his corrupted creed, just as he's doing here with this impressionable Chinese girl. Notice, too, that in his gestures and bearing, there is still something of the old lecher in him. Enzio's entire personality is built around pure demagoguery, claiming his philosophy is about love when violence and coercion are his primary means of tackling problems. Wow. We have therefore come to the conclusion that Enzio Auditori da Firenze would be a risky character to develop. No, it's only because he's a good person he's an assassin you don't want to do it. Freaking Templars and their stupid schemes. He's the favorite assassin. I, he's my favorite assassin. Don't do it, you're dirty. If you do, I'll do you dirty. This is this mini game. It is been another one. All right, so uh, maybe okay. There we go. Uh, how many of the secrets are locked away in your jeans and how many of this oh those would be freaking cool if this wasn't a real thing by the way that would be so cool that's just like them commercializing about uh about the enemies all right i'm gonna do this go over here go up and up and up and circle Our researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. 
Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Wow. No, this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. What? I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. Again, just because he is good, you know, just because he's a good person, a good assassin, you're like, oh, he's an assassin, let's just kick him out. I feel so personally attacked now. Because I've experienced their memories and their lives through these games. So, so I feel so connected to those characters. So when I offend them, I feel like they offend me. I was them, you know? A picture. One of his most overlooked leader, Melin, uh, freed hundreds of slaves, brought them to sanctuary, brutally cut down from the peak of her career. Evelyn de Cremper, the often she rescued from broken home. Ah, okay, interesting. Great minds, huh? Not so great when it comes down to it. What about this one? And then around we go. Another call accessed. Uh, possibly captured by other crew, was able New York, the company that trench. Oh, so they captured air. Uh, that's how they captured Desmond, huh? Interesting. Oh no, 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 no. Mental pain incoming. At least this one isn't it's as bad as the other ones. I give it that. Subject zero, audio file four, huh? I have now resumed the practice of dressing as a man. I have put off my woman's dress. Why did you take it? Who made you take it? I took it of my own free will, with no constraint. I prefer a man's dress to a woman's. You made an oath, Jeanne. You swore to never again dress as a man. I never meant to swear that I would not resume the practice. Why have you done so? Because it is more lawful and suitable for me to return to the practice of wearing a man's dress, being always among men, than to have a woman's dress. I have resumed it because a promise made to me has not been. How is he? Our three doing well. Are we still in 18th century Hungary? No. His connection is so stable, he's jumped between a few ancestors today. We're in 15th century France now. Turns out he's related to one of Joan of Arc's executions. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, Eileen, yesterday Vidic asked me to help him work out some of the bugs in his audiovisual renderer, uh, and I told him... No, no, no. Come on, Satish, not you. It wouldn't be permanent. Uh, a few months at most. Months? 
that will kill every ounce of momentum we have. It won't, I promise. Honestly, I think this could help us. If, if I can get a look at what these people are doing, we could... Come on. He's trying to pull you over to his side. Don't you see that? He's luring you with quick victory and prestige. That's not what this is about, honestly. I need to get back to work. Eileen, I'm sorry. Do what you must. I'll survive. Interesting. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, April 2nd, 1981. Host Eileen Bach, DNA sample SV1970. Miriam. Miriam, are you awake? What? Miriam, they're coming for me. Who is? The guards? I see them from my window, massing in the courtyard. My time is up. Basil, don't say this. You don't know that. Forgive me for this, Miriam. But I must tell you something. The artifact. We have it. But only Oscar and I know its location. Don't tell me. So we'll release you. Your family has connections. You must take the artifact and bring it to the assassins in Paris. Please don't. I don't want to know. It's safer if I don't. Hush now. If I die, knowledge of its location dies with me. You must bring it to the assassins. Assassins? I don't understand. The spy of St. Petrus. No, I don't want to hear. Seven, seven, seven. Okay. Hello? Eileen, hi. It's Carl. Carl, I know it's you. Sorry, you just sound exhausted. Did I wake you? No, no, I'm... I've just been busy. It sounds like it. I'm just a little tired, that's all. No, I mean, your... your project sounds fascinating. Your colleague, Dr. Warren Vidic, he called me recently and he told me what you've been up to. He what? Warren? Yeah, he told us about your research, memories, ancestry, all of that. He even asked if we'd be willing to come in and... No! Jesus, no! What the hell is he doing? Eileen, it's okay. We signed some papers, non-disclosure stuff. No! He's trying to fuck me over. Damn it! Eileen, we just talked about my mother, just like you and I did. World War II. That's all. It's the artifact. The what? Carl, if he calls you again, you tell him you work through me, okay? That's it. Vidic has been a pain in my ass for years. And I don't need him getting all the glory for my two years of hard work. All right. Uh, so how should I go about this? I mean, the wheels are in motion. I... I don't know. Just go through me if he contacts you again. Please? All right. You'll do that? Of course. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I'm sorry I was short with you. I've just been exhausted. That's all. It's all right, hon. Just... just take care of yourself. Morning, Eileen. We're almost ready. Just a few more adjustments. Hmm. Okay. I had the team do some research on this artifact we've been chasing, and it appears the Third Reich actually found something matching its description sometime in 1940. Uh, Eileen, are you all right? Sorry, yeah. I'm fine. Just a little scattered. Biddick called my ex-husband last night. He wants to put him in the Animus. To find the artifact before us? Exactly. Well, it would be faster using Vidic's Animus. And maybe that would get us back to our original work. Satish, if we let that happen, then all our money dries up. Lillian is paying for us to find the artifact, not improve our methods. Do you understand? Right, of course. I'm sorry. Let's just... let's just burn those bridges when we cross them. Are we ready? Yes, just a few more adjustments, Senori. I made a small change to the genetic input modulator. I'm hoping that buys us a few more minutes. Even a few seconds would be nice. I'm ready. All right. Settle in. So they're looking for an artifact, something about France. Is that like uh, Unity, a Sanskrit Unity? Is that what they're hinting at now? Go 
could also be Assassin's Creed Rogue. Oh, well, I guess we'll figure out at some point. Okay, uh, it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. Oh my god. <laughs> guess it's just a few seconds for you. I'll leap down the playlist. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking about Clay. Uh, Kesmeric, uh, Subject 16. So, when I fell into a coma back in Italy and woke up in the Animus Black Room, it was uh, so calming. Felt like I uh, had woken up into a dream, a haze, a, a dream where none of this mess had ever happened. Uh, felt like I should just be getting ready for another day of pouring drinks in bad weather and uh, another day of complaining about being between girlfriends and wondering what the hell to do with myself. But uh, when I saw Clay, just sitting there, it started to come back you know piece by piece and when he told me about Lucy I uh <laughs> fuck you know it it hurt you know, you know realizing oh he's talking about revelations now I killed her in the animus in the island I'm thinking or feeling anything not at the time anyway well and things just kept piling on Memories of Ezio and Altair and the first civilization. And then, right before he vanished, Clay passed on his memories to me. He showed me everything he had seen and lived through, and it was. it was brief, but overwhelming. I'm not really sure how to explain. He saw glimpses of Adam and Eve and their escape from slavery. He saw the beginning and the end of the war between the first Civ and humans. He saw Minerva, Juno, and Tinia trying to work out their their calculations. At least that's what they called them. They, they had these tools, these powerful uh, machines that could predict possible futures. Not what was going to happen, but what, uh, what, what could happen. Probabilities. And, well, they spent a lot of energy trying to figure out what was most likely scenario for the future, theirs and ours. And in the end, I guess they figured I was their most likely candidate. Some guy named Desmond living at the beginning of the 21st century of the Common Era. But which Desmond was the right one? Because, you see, probability is a weird thing. It can branch out in so many ways. Which version of me did they need? Was it the Desmond who got married early and had a son? One who stayed single in New York? Or, or was it the Desmond who moved to San Francisco to be a waiter? Maybe uh, it was the Desmond who worked at an auto body shop in Chicago. Or maybe it was the me who never ran away from his parents in the first place. First Civ had countless variations to choose from, but in the end, the uh, lucky one was me. I'm the Desmond their best calculations spit out. I'm the Desmond they left their messages for. And I guess I have to live with that honor. What an honor. Pretty tired. Uh, there'll be more later. Ciao. Ciao. Yes. Ciao. Only 10 more to go. Oh, look at this little little page here. Prince in prison, hello, internet. But all the two had a secret purpose in the end. So everything has a secret purpose, is what they're trying to say. Imagine if like a secret order like this actually lived. I know for a fact it isn't, because if it was. I mean, there are a lot of people I know that could reach out to. They'll be like, heck yeah, we're gonna fight against a big bad corporation. I also know a lot of open minded people, so I mean. Eh. Hmm. 
understood that tools home scars and known as a well phenomenon. Okay. I've already been in here, right? I don't know if I have, have I? Oh yeah, I have not. See, how I figured this one out is I just keep going sideways, then I keep clicking a few times on the scroll. Okay, yeah, that's, that's how you could do it. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. I'm going to do remote hacking. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is going to be flipping annoying. I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. 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 Why is that one so slow and the others are not? <laughs> Different speeds are so confusing. That was almost in. Come on, just give me a little break, game. Like, can you have a bug here? Like, every night in the actual gameplay? Can you just be like, oh, fine. we have a bug here that lets you get past the hacking system? All you do is go the other way. Oh no, that does not work. Okay, I hope I find something like. No. Cause this one right there. Go, 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 go! Thank you! Thank you! Thank goodness! This might be a longer video because I'm gonna do all these in one go. Our initial research into the life of Ratana Gaiden focused on a period spanning his late teens to his early 30s. But our researchers came away unimpressed by his calm and stoic demeanor with occasional flashes of extreme anger. This was not the sort of leading man we felt comfortable endorsing. Oh, we decided sure. to delve into his early childhood with the hope that scenes of pre-colonial America might hold some appeal. As you can see here, there is a certain naive charm and innocence to this young boy. Unfortunately, our researchers found this young man's story deeply problematic as well. How? For one, the omnipresence of the Mohawk culture lacks the balance necessary to tell the true story of America. And secondly, the Mohawk language would certainly be an issue for most of our audience. We therefore feel that although Ratana Tankon's early life would be of some interest to our more educated viewers, it's unlikely that his story would appeal on a broader scale, being too foreign, as it were, to normal audiences. Our team recommends we pass on this property. Oh, that's so mean. You guys are just screwing over the assassins we know and love. This is Ubisoft telling us like, yeah, screw you guys. We make the games. We don't care what you want us to do. Another one right here. What do you say? Do they have the circle found to give themselves the best practices and lying bastards? 10 out of 20. A lot of sticky notes to be found as well. gonna hack this we're very mean and hack stuff how about this there we go Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, January 11th, 1981. Host, Eileen Bock. DNA sample, SB1970. Gideon? 
Here is Mr. Chu. Are you in here? Barton! Oh, thank God you're safe. You've been very sick. Barton, how did they find you? Oh, Jesus, what would they do to you? Has they hurt you at all? I told them nothing. All they do every day is ask about you and that artifact. But I didn't tell them anything. Nothing. I know you didn't, Miriam. But how are you? You aren't hurt. Not badly, no. I'm fine. Good. We need to get the message out to Oscar. Somehow. We, we need to tell him where... Very well, interesting what? footage, Eileen. This is Germany, you said. World War II? Most of the memories I've been able to access come from a period where Miriam was imprisoned by Nazis in Cologne. Miriam. Is she still alive? No, she was my husband's... Mo my ex-husband's mother. She passed away about five years ago. Well, she was spirited. An impressive lady. Definitely. And the man, Bartle. He made reference to an artifact. Any idea what that is? My team is looking into that. But it's not our first priority. We still need... It is now. Really? You must have other recordings of this woman. Are there any other mentions of this artifact I should know about? Half a dozen or so, yes. What's this about? You have questions. I understand that. I don't have answers for you. Not right now. But I do have money. And if you get me those recordings and bring me any other artifact references you find, then I will triple your operating budget for as long as I can. Triple Holy my crap. budget? Holy crap. My God, what is this? 9 a.m. Monday morning, my office. We have a lot to discuss. But Lillian, I don't... Have a good weekend, Mrs. Bach. Fantastic work. So the Templars really want the artifacts. Hello, this is Carl. Hi, it's Eileen. Hey, how are you? Good. Busy, cold. The winter's been terrible. Uh, shame. Well, he's only coming for a month. He'll live, and I'll be so busy he won't have to worry about his mother bothering him. Ah, uh, still working 12-hour days. I should move a bed into my lab. Look, if you're too busy, Seamus can stay with me. No, no, I want to see him. We'll have fun. You're not too busy to be a mom and a genius. Of course not. His flight lands at 8.15 p.m. tomorrow night. You'll be there? Of course, 8.15. P.m. Let him know you'll be there. Thanks, Carl. I need to run. I'm sorry. Take care. You too. Ah, Eileen. Didn't see you come in. I'm not interrupting. No, it's fine. The subject is unconscious. He's traipsing around 18th century New Orleans right now. In the memories of a woman. That must feel odd. How long has he been under? 83 minutes. Whoa. It's average. What can I do for you? I just wanted to... To thank you for sending Lillian to see me. She came away very impressed. There. You see, all these bureaucrats need is a little glimpse of our secrets every so often. They like to feel like they're still in charge. Lillian is most definitely in charge. She just tripled my budget. Tripled? Christ, Eileen. You must have discovered who killed Kennedy. <laughs> well, she heard something on one of my tapes that interested her. Something about an artifact. Very vague. But it was enough. An artifact? What sort of artifact? Jesus, get him out of there! Get him out! Oh my god. It'll kill him! He's not decoupled! He's having a fucking seizure! Power down! Now! Heart rate 170! Power down! Now! Did he die? Holy crap! Eileen, Warren here. I was all ready to apologize for the late call, but you seem to be away. Maybe with your son. Uh, listen, since the unfortunate incident with Subject 1, there's been a lot of dire talk around the office about my Animus project, about shutting it down, about it being unsafe. Typical top brass bullshit. And if they shut me down, then your surrogate initiative goes away, too. I'm sure you're already well aware of that. Well, let me be the first to reassure you. This will not happen. I will not let them take this from me. From us. I will not let one death of an undiagnosed epileptic, I should add. 
I will not let this destroy the decades of incredible research done by our predecessors and the five years I've spent perfecting the Animus. There's still more work to be done and countless rewards to be reaped. So I wanted you to be the first to know. I have decided to volunteer myself as my second subject. I am convinced that the Animus is perfectly safe, provided I stay within the boundaries of my own ancestral bloodline. Next week, I plan to prove this by staying a full four hours in the Animus. I would be grateful if you and your team would monitor my progress. And after this necessary but ridiculous proof of concept, I give you my word that I will work closely with you to solve your outstanding problems. Your surrogate initiative is a bold idea, and I do believe it is the future of the Animus Project. But while we have the Animus itself, I do not want to waste precious opportunities to prove its safety. I'll see you in the office on Monday. Goodbye. Okay. So they were about to shut down the Animus Project because a guy who had epilepsy died. They didn't know Subject 1 had the epilepsy. Okay, interesting. So far, I like the law. Where did you hear that? I haven't heard anything. I can't work. I'm just gonna go in here, don't mind me. I'm just gonna take this. Not to achieve what I want to be received by her crazy instruction. That's a default fabrication. Is this what he wrote? He does like writing things. First the bottles, now the uh, other stuff. Or did I? I did actually. Pierre handed in his notice this morning. This new security measure is freaking people out. They won't let him go. It's part of our contract. Having ultra-high security clearance means you have to go through a whole debriefing process. It takes months. Really? I had no idea. Read the fine print, man. Working for Abstergo has its benefits, but there's some drawbacks, too. Big ones. Okay. What's with all these security notices I'm seeing lately? Just a standard message we use on occasion. Nothing to worry about. We've just had some issues around the office lately. Like server security issues? Because these notices seem pretty severe. Like draconian, actually. No, no, it's nothing to worry about, really. Walk with me and I'll explain. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for sharing the white whale data with me. I was able to track it down myself. Excuse me? No problem, man. It's amazing, right? Yeah, I tracked it down as soon as I saw your message. Followed it for a while. Couldn't catch it now. Yeah, you guys are weak. I captured like three of them, I think. Yeah. Yeah. He was killed. Shot in the chest multiple times. No, no, that shouldn't be a problem. We collected more than enough data. Again. We'll know soon enough, but. All right. All right, I can send you the results as soon as possible. Okay. Any word on any VA? Damn it. God, I'm worried sick. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Leticia. Bye. Interesting. Anyway, I saw one of those uh, sticky notes in one of these places. That's one of them. Wasn't this one? It was near an area, however. Near an edge. Right here? No. No.
Dang, the motion blur when you do this. It makes my eyes very weird. The turning is so bad. Okay, so what I'm looking at it is something on a wall. Something right here. Was this the one? Don't know if this was the one or not. The world became an indecent place. Uh huh. There's a few things left at least. What about behind this thing? Was that pizza? Can I have some? Okay, good. Thank you. Bathroom, huh? Anything hiding in here? Some sticky notes, perhaps? Oh, I wish I had a bigger field of view. I can't see anything like this. Nothing in the bathroom, I can tell you, say for certainty, with certainty that is clear. Oh, is it? It seems to be. Yes, it definitely seems to be. Why? What? Why what? Oh, because you can't get the... Haha, <laughs> I wanted those unlucky ones, sir. Oh well, seems like I'm gonna have to go to other areas to get the other stuff I need. The same place I went to last time? Yeah, it seems so. Alright, trying to go to the elevator. Where is it? Be back here somewhere. Who disappeared? I don't know if I got anything in here. Hey, this is not the place, right? Nope, does not look like it. Where's the elevator? I'm lost. I need someone to guide me to the elevator, please. Oh, because that's that. And that's this? That means the elevator must be over here somewhere. Am I right? Dude, where's the elevator? Bathroom? Okay, so I just went the wrong way, did I? Nah, did I just go in a big circle? Oh, it should be right here then. Okay, got it. Boom. CCO, we're going up now. These people definitely get a lot of money to be able to do all this. Well, all right, let's see. There is nothing here. What about further down? One of the discoveries in uh, Edward Kenway, okay. So what they did was, they wanted to focus on Edward Kenway for some weird reason, instead of Ezio and everyone. Because he's a pirate. But isn't that way more <laughs> dangerous than anything else? Restricted personal use. I can do that. Restricted or not. This doesn't give me anything. There we go. Just gonna head, in, head into this server. If I can talk, that would be awesome. Uh, 
And you need to get to 7,000. I have to double my numbers. Okay, how would you have me do this? There we go. Just gonna go ahead and do that. And it's, it's not, not that hard, you know. It's I got, I got all those skills. What am I looking at? On your hag remotely? Okay, I can do that. gonna be so hard to do this in time dang it uh, we do this then we wait then we do that then we do this then we do this and that no no Dang it, why is it always that one? <laughs> why? So close. Yet, oh god damn it, I thought I didn't even make that. Dang it. Seems like I'm just too fast now. Oh. Really, I, I I got killed by. Uh... Just wait for this one, and boom, 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 boom! Oh, no, no, no! Why? <laughs> Why that one? Killed by that of all things, really. <sighs> well, this game really likes to screw me over now, doesn't it? It's like, hmm, these are the only possible solutions you can use to, to complete this one. How about we make it extremely hard for you, so you can't do it. <laughs> uh, that one is also screwed up. Go, 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 go. There we go. Thank goodness. Oh, it's just hate them. Was a hero for the generation of men. Really? Because it was a Templar, he was a hero, okay. Then again, he was pretty charismatic. I, I can't say no to that. Alright, now for the... I I'm an employer here and I would like to, uh, to use the bathroom. Or employee, I mean, not employer. You guys have awful bathrooms, by the way. I can smell poop miles away. Alright, so lobby. But I don't think I can even do anything in the lobby. Can I?
All right, forward we go. Okay, lady, you've been standing there for so long. Ooh. Yes, we submit now such tools as its purpose something our minds, our minds utterly. Yes, talk about minds. That's gonna help. Okay, I don't know how I did that. But I like it. Uh, I don't wait until that one goes past. Oh, uh, wow. You know, it being slow isn't really helping me either. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. I didn't know that went up. We just see the directions of these things while they are doing this. Ah, come on. What's with these slow ones? She's just torturing me. Aha! Tricked you. Now that that has been taken care of, let's see what this is hiding from me. We are attempting to synchronize the DDS system. What? This will only take a moment. We are almost there. The DDS is now in sync. Thank you for your patience. We hope you enjoy your experience. Rudolf II invited many notable figures to his court, making Prague the center of European culture. Among them were Englishman Edward Kelly and his stepdaughter, Elizabeth Jane Weston. Observe her and report any alleged collusion. What? From Project Legacy, so uh, it's something it's something they start working on. Oh, that's pretty interesting, though. Uh oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Close call, huh? Still by far the worst hacking game I've ever used or played or something on a dose. Subject 1, interview session. February 12, 1981. Qualitative personal interview with Subject 1 on ancestral research regarding Avalon de Grand Prix. How are you feeling? Any side effects? Not really. Aside from the headaches. They've been worse since I started staying in longer. But I, I don't want to stop. I like her. I want to know what she does next. What's it like? Reliving her memories. So different. The animus, I mean. The past. At first it was confusing. Distracting. Like New Orleans? The stench. I wasn't expecting all the smells. Smell is the sense most directly linked to memory. When I'm in her memories, it's like I can smell more than I usually can. In general, women have a more acute sense of smell than men do. They do? I had wondered how that would translate. Anything else? Uh, yeah. She's smaller than me, but it's like her body could do more. Did that surprise you? At first, yeah. 
the ERA people might hate me for this or whatever, but I don't usually think of girls that way. Climbing things. My mom, my sisters. The animal feeling of Aveline sinking her hidden blade in the throat of... Go on. It doesn't feel feminine. What I think of as feminine. But then at the same time, it does. Her center of gravity is way lower. That was a surprise. How easy it is to land. How steady I am on her, her feet. Sorry. This is hard to talk about. No, it's, it's fascinating. This is what we need. Pure experience, in your own words. Okay. Can you tell me about Gerald Blunk? What about him? He and Avalon were close, but we haven't been able to ascertain if he might be your missing ancestor. Do her memories suggest anything to you? Um... Does this make you uncomfortable? Remember, these are her memories. You're just playing them back. It's not even acting. You're a researcher. Like you say, I haven't experienced her consummating anything. That, that would be... Anyway, I think maybe she was confused. Oh. Well, um, first of all, I don't really know for sure, okay? I mean, guys think about sex more than girls, right? That's a fact. As a researcher, what did you observe? Does it mean she's more like a guy if she thinks about... Is that why she's able to assassinate... Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't know her thoughts, but from what's in her memories, physically, the, the, the fidgeting, some hesitation, what she looked at, who she looked away from, the things she didn't say when I expected her to... If I had to guess what it meant, I would think she was thinking about... Sex. But I'm a guy, so I would think that, right? So what does it mean for women to act that way? Uh, it has to mean something else, right? As a subject, you're able to observe more finely than I am in review. What about unwanted attention from men? Well, I thought that would be the hardest thing to deal with. I'm not into that, for the record. Not at all. Yes, I know. But... The way she dealt with it, it happens so often, she... It's like you stop noticing everything she does to avoid it. Crossing the street, eyes in the back of her head. She knew how to handle herself. When she was charming, felt kind of similar to killing. Or the build-up to killing. I... Can we take a break, Mr. Vidic? Of course. Freaking weird, a dude experiencing a woman's uh, <laughs> memories. Ready to oh go my on? god, I can only imagine yes. how he would feel. Avalyn was black and white on her father's side. You're sensitive to that? I guess. I mean, I'm white. Avalyn looks black, so that's different. But y you get used to it, like with the girl thing, until someone makes you not used to it. What do you mean? I don't think I've ever had to think so much about what I'm wearing or how I'm walking. But Aveline, it's like she goes through her whole life in these uniforms. People expect her to behave in a certain way. Definitely. Sometimes I worry I'll slip up and play too relaxed at the warehouse and, I don't know, blow her cover. You can't blow her cover. I know, I know. I'm just replaying the memories. I can't change them, I know. But, but I, I see it, right? It's a risk. It's... Stressful? Yes. It's best when she goes out as an assassin. On the roofs or in the bayou. I think she was more relaxed that way. Can you imagine? You're only relaxed when you're going to kill someone. Let's stick to memories rather than imagination. What about the slaves? They're kind of just... everywhere. I mean, that, that sounds bad. Slavery is bad, but, but no one's acting like slavery's bad. It's fun when she frees slaves. Is it supposed to be fun? We're not looking for supposed to. Focus on what it is. <sighs> Thank you.
My poor ears. So Sandra has questions about what he's seeing and how he's feeling from seeing that. Okay, that's interesting. So they're just gone, they're poofed. And yeah, what's in here? Another of these thingies. All right, we're supposed to make sh mention mix that one up. Still too much, huh? Dang, how am I supposed to get that? There we go. Great, I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, let's do it. Let's get this over with. I was gonna get destroyed there anyway. And done with you. Dang, this video has been going on for almost an hour now, if it hasn't been an hour already. Ooh, 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 ooh. Surrogate initiative, test session 37, August 9th, 1981. Host, Eileen Bach, DNA sample SB1970. Open! Good morning, Miss Kurtz. You look well, considering the circumstances. Are you rested? Hmm. Have you eaten? Your friends are dead, Miriam. Bartle Shink and all his navigators, his Edelweiss pirates, executed for five counts of murder. Which has a trial. You must be proud. There was no need! They were scum! All of them! You hear me? All of you are scum! 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 <laughs> I see it so clearly now. She didn't break, did they? You have nothing! Quiet, girl! You don't have the artifact! If you did, you wouldn't be talking to me at all. Never your slave seat. I said never your slave seat. Never your slave seat. Open your eyes. Can you hear me? I mean, I mean. Power's off. Get the position in here. Step aside, son. I mean, talk to me. Can you open your eyes? Clear. Oh, God. No spot.
<clears throat> All right. Notes towards a speech in honor of Dr. Eileen Bach's premature retirement. When I first learned of Dr. Bach's unfortunate accident, I couldn't help but feel a great sense of loss at... No. No, no. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Eileen Bach has and always will be a friend and colleague. When I first learned of her unfortunate accident, I was shocked, of course. To see any friend injured in such a way is deeply upsetting. And to further learn that her injuries were severe enough to force a premature conclusion to her brilliant career, well... I would not wish that fate on anyone. But if there is any solace to be found in her accident, it may be this, that she was injured in service of her research, in service of work that she cherished most dearly. And it is thanks to her, it is due to her diligence that some of the mysteries of genetic memory have been further illuminated. And while it is true that work on her project, the surrogate initiative, as she called it, has been temporarily halted, the copious amount of work she has done over the past three years has been incredibly valuable. So while her work has been suspended for the time being, her legacy will most certainly live on. <laughs> Okay, so... So that's why you never actually see your character die. You don't experience death yourself, because then you would die in real life. Is how it seems. So she died because she died in the Animus, like her, the character she was looking through. Oh, I didn't even hack this yet. Uh, okay. There we go. Testing microphone, accessing live feed. It's like a convenience pay us. That's nice. Can I get an inconvenience pay? So there's nothing over here, right? Nothing I can hack or do. Can't go home for the day. I'm forced to stay in this place. Live out the rest of my life here. Has to be some kind of thingy over here. You can't just leave this area and empty, can they? Come on, there should be something at least right here. Ooh, down below it seems. I don't know what uh, bathroom I just entered, but it seems like it's the ladies. Uh, yeah, wrong bathroom. Hmm. Alright, I 
okay, all right. Uh, bathroom inspection finished. Uh, that's, uh, inspe I have to say it's okay. It's okay stuff you put in. Could have made it cleaner, but you know, it's, it's good enough. Ooh, big screen. Can I? There we go. Now I'm gonna be able to do much here. So what am I looking for? Are there even any places where the green can stop? Wow, this one actually hard. How did they pull this off? Where is the top part of this one? I'm stuck here, I see. How would I even get to you? Oh, okay, now I can't see. Okay, so you can actually do this. I never knew that. So what, do you, what I have to do is actually get over here. Oh, wow. How, how the heck am I supposed to do that? It has to be impossible to do, right? You can't. There's only one outcome that actually leads to where I'm supposed to go. And I'm supposed to find that one outcome. So this is what you want me to do, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go towards the green. <laughs> no, for the best. Uh... How do I hack you? Why are you so unhackable? Wait, will you just let me hack you, damn it? Tutorial, can I can I tutorial? Possibility for a loop. Ugh. Like you can't even blame this one because I, I don't see any other way to do it. Okay, so how would I get over there? This is me back here. And my goal is to get from the left side here to the right. Oh, okay, I did it. Thank goodness for that. That's a tough nut to crack. Holiday, really? Your people realize I'm working here in privilege. I know I'm not crazy. Okay. 
Okay. Melanie LeMay might have caused something to happen. Maybe. Time to hack another one. <laughs> Hopefully this one is easier. I really hope so. Not so many connections. Well, it worked. So, this will be a short one, Dad. You say that, but I can read uh, all the text. Me by if things go south. If I don't make it out of the temple today. I've tried to be optimistic about all this, but I... Uh, I just can't. I think spending all this time in Connor's memories has made me anxious. I mean, his story is so painful. In so many ways. Still, he never lost hope. When his faith and others eroded. I can only believe that what we are doing is the right thing, and that I can stop this disaster. I know this. I mean, the technology is there, waiting for us to use it. I'm the final piece of the puzzle. It's something in my genes or my memories. Some final piece of code to switch the whole thing on. That's why I'm here. That's why they brought me here. inside that temple is not an ending it's just another chapter in this this endless story and it'll be your job and mom's and and sean's and rebecca's to keep turning the pages you know i i keep thinking about something orson wells once said something like if you if you want a happy ending it all depends on where you stop telling your story so maybe, maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's how people keep marching forward. If something goes wrong and they're dead, something happens to me. When you tell my story years from now, please tell them the one about how I lost my way. And then I found it again. Just in time to save the world. And, and just... End it there. That'll keep everyone smiling. Goodbye, Dad. Say hello to Mom. Tell her I love her, okay? Tell her I uh, love you both. Oh, that's sweet, but also very sad, considering how he died. Are there no uh, thingies? No sticky notes in here, huh? I know you're hiding sticky notes somewhere. Come give them to me. Come on now. I know you want to give them to me. Come give it to me. No sticky notes? Well, well, well. Do you have sticky notes? No, okay, no sticky notes for me. Well, there's a little more to go. This has been a long, long road. I don't think I'm gonna go for all the sticky notes, they're not really that important. Just tell weird things that this sage probably spread out around the place. Now this server is probably the last place. There are two more down there I haven't hacked, I think.
Oh well, let us go this way. Oh, a sticky note. Well, you're mine, my friend. What does she want for the red hair, hair, and a new one? Let me get beloved, beautiful. Do you know me? She guided us to. Uh, oh well, whatever. Crazy satanistic, do you know? Body's been moved. Yes, sir, and preserved. We'll do what we can. Good. Let's keep security units on standby. I know Miss LeMay said the situation was under control, but I have a feeling we may be needing them again soon. Hmm. I'm a master hacker. Alright, let's do this. This one seems very simple compared to the other ones. Say that and then watch me fail it completely. It's going around in a circle right now. Never mind, I did it. Core access granted. Agent evaluation. Uh, this would have been leaked from within the classified document. Doesn't matter. Now, the last piece into hex should be in here. And then that sticky note scattered all around the place. Well. There we go. Last one hacked. Audio file 2, huh? Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 27, October 21st, 1980. Host Eileen Bach, DNA sample SB1970. <coughs> Miriam, my dear girl, there is no good reason for you to be here, but your intransigence requires that I detain you until you give me information I can act upon. The location of the artifact, perhaps, or the whereabouts of your leader, Bartle Shing. Just a little something to give Minister Goebbels some encouragement that we are on the right track. How about a nice hug? He looks so sad in all his photographs. <laughs> yes, he does, doesn't he? Perhaps you could pay him a visit yourself. He likes beautiful women. Actresses, musicians. Pirates. That's right, pirates. Pirates of the Edelweiss. Isn't that what you kids call yourselves? It's very amusing. And illegal, of course. Breaking Hitler's laws is half the fun. Oh, I imagine so. I imagine you were having a wonderful time just before we captured you on your search of friends. And that's the end of it. Damn it. Why can't we sustain the signal for more than just a few minutes? I need to relax. That's not the issue. This is dangerous work. These memories aren't in your bloodline. That's why it's not holding. There's got to be a solution. Uh, any idea what they mean by the artifact? I've heard it a few times now. Not sure. I don't think Miriam knew either. Not much comes into her mind when she asks about it. But she's protecting the other members of her group. The Edelweiss pirates or something? Yeah. Bartol Schink. Have we looked him up? No, we can. We should. Put your intern on it. <laughs> right. High priority. Yeah. <sighs> this isn't getting any easier. Jesus. You talking to Jesus now? <laughs> Thinks you might have gone crazy. Hello? Hi, Seamus. It's Mom. Hey. How are you? Dad! It's Mom! <sighs> Hello, Eileen. Hi, 
Hi, Carl. How's Seamus? Great. We were out shopping for school clothes. Yeah. The summer just sped by. They all do. I never seem to notice. No windows in the office. Right. Trapped in the lab. So, did you need to talk? Yes, sorry. I was curious about your mother, actually. Oh. Okay. How much did she talk about the war when you were growing up? Not often. Bits and pieces. Why? I was doing some research last week about World War II, and something came up about the Edelweiss pirates, or the Navajos, and your mother's name popped up. Really? That's an odd coincidence. Does that... does any of that ring a bell? Yeah. Mom ran with that group while the war was on. There were a group of kids who wanted to avoid the Hitler Youth programs, but in later years they escalated their activities to, uh... bigger ideas like vandalism and sabotage. But why Navajos and pirates? Just some of the names they used. Navajos, Edelweiss pirates, you know, kids. There were little pins, little white flowers. I may still have hers. That's interesting. And this is for work, researching my mother? Not exactly, but... Sorry, I can't talk about it. Right. You never could. Hey, don't. I didn't mean to be flippant. No. Don't mind me. All for the greater good. I like to think so. Why would you involve your freaking ex-husband in your work? Just because mention his mom. Ah, ah. Down. You all right? Damn it! Five months of this bullshit! Floundering. Take it easy, Eileen. You're just stressed. I am not stressed. I'm frustrated. I'd like to go again this afternoon. No. There is no reason to rush this. We're hardly rushing. We're running into the same wall over and over again. Why can't we push through? Why can't you keep me in the Animus longer than two minutes? Because surrogate genetic memory data is fragile. The EEG is exploding and your brain is doing too much work. The longer you stay in, the more damage it does. It's even possible that... Possible that... It's possible the memories we're digging into could eventually overwrite your own. Like information on a tape drive. There's just not enough space in your head to do both. Here I come to save the day! <laughs> Good afternoon, all. Did you invite him? No, but you did. Remember? That was months ago, Warren. What do you need? I wanted to stop by. Check on your progress. Well, apparently it's still too dangerous to keep me under for more than a few minutes. Hmm. I always suspected that would be your biggest hurdle. The genetic memory sequencing is the easy part, if time-consuming. But the replay, that's something else. Yes? Let's think this through. My subjects are diving into their own genetic memories, so the information is already encoded in their heads. Which means the Animus has less work to do. Less computing, less parsing. Right. So to get your surrogate data working, to let people experience foreign memories, it will take a hell of a lot more processing power than anyone has. Even Abstergo Industries. Ideally, we'd like to build an external processor that mirrors as many brain functions as possible. Something to handle the calculations. But the cost and upkeep of that would be... Astronomical. Let me see what I can do. I have some sway with Lillian. We won't build Rome in a day. But if we focus on the pretty buildings first, maybe we'll achieve something. Thank you, Warren. Till next, folks. Okay, and that's why the Lillian came talking to her and figured out about the artifact, huh? That is also gonna be for this video. I know it was a long one, so bear with me. Hopefully you did bear with me, otherwise you skip to the end, which is totally understandable, to be honest. But uh, I still hope you enjoyed nonetheless. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. And as always, uh, stay awesome.